There it is. Jesus Christ. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it was, it was, I know, it was a very quick spin. Hey, so they're hanging out my doors. Yes, yes. Yeah, That's my favorite one right there. That one there, though? Forbidden. Oh. New vlog this week from Atlantic City. I will admit, I did not realize Atlantic City would be like a little Vegas. Driving in, I saw Bellagio, I saw Caesar's Palace, Tropicana, all kinds of other casinos slash hotels. And uh, I should know this because it's prominently in The Simpsons. Gambler is here. There's all kinds of gambling here. I should have known this, but that is a sidebar because this week we're here for AW Dynamite and Rampage. That's right, big week. Plus, uh, I do know right after this, I'm gonna be heading into uh, a little bit of karaoke with some friends. You never know what could end up on Evil Uno's schedule. So, um, well, let's get this started with a little bit of karaoke. <laughs> Chucks, hello, what's going on? Hey, well, you know, uh, we, we typically Twitch stream together, but now now we're doing it on my phone. It feels it feels weird, but it, it feels does. good. Like it, it does, it does. We're yeah. in a much tighter box than we, we typically are. <laughs> This is a this is as close as it gets. Yeah. Usually we're you know there's a bit of distance, there's a but distance. this I think I like the, the it's not bad, right? Shoulder, uh, shoulder, yeah, shoulder, shoulder. I feel like we're we're equals this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good, 100%. good. I don't know if you know this, but uh, on this vlog we talk video games, and uh, you and I we talk video games every single week. Yes, we. I think the, no, that, that might go too far. I don't want to upset anybody, mm -hmm. but we may be the two people who love video games the most. Maybe. Uh, so there's only one other person I would I maybe, know. Sir Panico would probably be in there as well. Yep. Uh, yep. And probably Kenny. Uh, that's exactly Yeah, what truthfully. We're, we're top three. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're, absolutely. We're top, top three. We're in good company yeah. as well. Though. Kenny good is company. absolutely. Good. Yes. I have, I've never been to his home, but he, I've, I've heard that he has like, a giant arcade in there, essentially. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And oh, you were actually telling me about your collection. You just, uh, I was. Tell. So tell. I, because I love video games so much, I've gotten really into like the history of them. Mm -hmm. So uh, aside from the fact that one had the 1972 Magnavox Odyssey, which was the first ever home video game console, but recently I added three new big ones from the first generation. One being the Sears Telegames Pong system in mm -hmm. 1975, the Coleco Telstar in 1976, and then Nintendo's first ever video game console. Not the NES, not the Game & Watch, but the TV Color Game 6, released exclusively in Japan, it's my baby now. It's my pride and joy. I, honestly, it is the goal to try and get every console? It is. Yeah. So I have, like, the, the ones that were readily accessible in North yeah. America, I have all of them. All the rare ones, is that starts going into this weird rabbit hole that is financially difficult. Yes. Very expensive. Oh my there God. There aren't that many out there. It, it, especially if you get one that's still in the box. Oh yes. Condition, or God oh, yeah. forbid, 
one that's still in the plastic, forget it. Like yeah, yeah, you're, you're paying a fortune at that ab point. Absolutely you're insane. A fortune. But like, so I think I've decided to, and this is easier for me to process, is I wanna collect all the mainline ones first. So yeah. now, don't get me wrong, if there's an obscure one, yeah. I'll get that too, but- right Nintendo there, proper, Sony yeah. proper. So yeah. Someday I wanna have a wall where it's like first gen, second gen, third gen, and go the whole way up to, mm -hmm. to current gen, so. Awesome, yeah. hell yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I hope you uh, hope you get there. Thank you. It's gonna it's gonna be a long road. I can tell you right now. It'll be a lifetime journey. I know. Have, have you kept a list of what's left? So I have, I really need to make a list. Yeah. Because at this point, this is awful to say, but I forget what system it was, and I don't want to single one out. But I was like, oh, I need to get one of these, and then, and then I went you end up my having game room, one. And I'm like, yeah. oh my god. I I, I've it. done that so much. So I've just packed right now all of my consoles because I'm moving, yep. and I realized like I have six Super Nintendos. And what do I do? What, like, I have three Dreamcasts. What, why do I need these? Why do I have so many? Why do, and funny enough, I was never really a collector of anything mm -hmm. except for wrestling stuff when I was younger. Yes. And now we, video we've, games. Ta we've talked, you still own all of your old wrestling t shirts yes. as well. Yes. Uh, me, it's always been video games. I've now just recently got into toys. I'll be honest. Don't get into it. It's it's another it's another trap financially. But uh, <laughs> video games, man, my heart, All my day. heart dedicated All to day. you. With magazines, actual games, like oh man, I'm, I'm so so into the entire process. Like I, I was fortunate enough to get a copy of Road Rash on the Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. I have that game on display because it was my first video game I ever played. So like, that's like a very special. You got game. it framed on your wall oh, and everything. Yep, yep, it's up there on my wall. So yeah, I love it, I, and I think I like it because I know I'll never get every. Thing. Yes. Like, this oh, never I will tell you this. It's actually not fun to get your full. Like I start a collection of toys, and then uh, I'm almost done my Batman. It kind of feels bad because I know after that there's nothing left to do. What am I going to do? I'll probably end up just selling it anyway. Oh, it's right. so terrible. Right. Why did Why did I even start it to begin with? But uh, <laughs> but the chase is where it's at. That's what it you is. want. The Absolutely. chase is uh, trying to find the rarest. Uh, so, do you just go online for these? Or you try to go to stores. Uh, yeah. So normally, so there is a store uh, in Orlando called mm. Gamers Inc., which Ooh. I've checked out quite a bit. So shout out to them because the employees are amazing. They're the stuff. I may check amazing. you out when we go to Orlando in a few weeks. Seriously, it's worth. You should. Oh okay. awesome. yeah. Awesome. They have different stuff every single week. Like for example, this is very cool of them. So again, shout out to Gamers Inc. But they knew I was a really, really big Halo fan. And one week when I came in, they go, we got something for you. We, we took it off the shelves and held it for you. And it was the launch edition Halo Combat Evolved in the case, in the booklet, that they put to the side specifically for me. That's amazing. Which was so, but anyways, so most of the time I'll get stuff on eBay. Yeah, and so occasionally, occasionally at the store every now and then. Occasionally at the store, because I, again, I'm a completionist, shout out Gerard, mm -hmm. in, the, in the sense of, I, I like to have it in the box. If I can have it with the booklets, that's great. Yes, absolutely. So, and those are tough to find for sure. Very, Online's the easiest way, because if you go to a store, you can't tell. So what would you say your rarest console that you own is? Uh, I have a Sega Saturn. I've got the Turbo Graphic. I've nice. got. Jeez, I don't think I have that many rare ones. But good ones. Sega CD. Oh, that's uh, good. I don't have Sega CD. Sega CD was tough to find. Yeah. I don't even know if it works, to be yeah. honest, because uh, I don't have a single Sega CD game. Yeah. But I have the console. So right. honestly, to me, I just want to display it. I don't oh, think I I'll ever touch it. Oh, same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But now, if it's open, I will open the box and like look at it and hold yeah, it. Yeah, give it the old. You gotta make yes. sure everything's in there. If you can, if you can't. Right, but no, I will never be playing these. I will, yeah, never That's, be playing it, them. Probably not a good idea anyway. Right. I, right. You'd have to like whip out an old CRT and, yeah. and well, I appreciate your time. Man. Of course, again, I will talk with you about video games all day, every day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'm sure you will, uh, if you wanna find out more from us playing video games or talk about video games, you can do so on twitch.tv slash awgames yes. every single Wednesday. Every Wednesday. We do it uh, religiously. Yeah. Religiously. Yeah. What do we, we play? Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Really. So, and sometimes we just have a gaming podcast. Yeah, yeah, literally. All the uh, it's, it's a good way for us to just discuss games because no one else wants to listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Adam. <laughs> yeah.
Reynolds, Alan Five Angels, and John Silver, Dark Order. And their opponents first, Daniel Garcia, and two point oh. All five members of the opposition sent to the outside. Oh, Alan Angels putting on the place. Dark Order and Captain Moonsault. Way to sell that merch, kid. That's smart. Man, I can't believe I even listened to you. Oh, Stu Grayson. Oh, wow. Launched off of Evil Uno's shoulder, hit the diving DDT on Garcia and Lee, but Jeff Parker giving Grayson a taste with the elbow drop. Reynolds. Oh, pops up Parker. Missed the shot. Ate the NZ Curry. Oh, miscommunication there by Silver and Reynolds. That's very rare. Well, the Whoa. Part of that's that deceptive strength of Max Caster, too. Daniel Garcia, the ripcord. Overhand shot. I think that caught Uno on the ear in the Saito suplex. As Garcia up on the shoulders, the night. Oh, oh man. Breaker. That didn't look switched by Angels. Bowen gets rolled up. O'Connor roll. Nope. Oh, the boombox prevented by Uno. Uno's seen that play a time or two. The boot caught by Bowens. Bowens on oh, a kick to the back of the head. He's got Angels tied up in the ropes, the DDT! Wow! Bowens floats over and scores the win! The winner of this match, Daniel Garcia, 2.0. And the acclaim. Wow, the acclaim didn't need the boombox, but still the distraction on the outside proved to be enough of an opening for Andy. Damn! Jesus Christ! Yeah, like sorry. It was. It was. I know. It was a very quick spin. Hey, so I'm hanging out my doors. Yes, yes. Are, that's my favorite one right there. That one there, though. No. Forbid it. Oh. Don't enter there. Yeah, I tried once. Yes. How was it? It didn't work. It didn't work. I see. I see. We're in Atlantic City. Came through the front door. The front door. It's where Dan has been. Oh, I, I was invited in from the side. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's, what it's, are we doing? Oh, we're talking. Oh. You ever, you ever you ever been on a vlog? Oh, wait, you've been on this vlog. Yes. Yes. Several times. Several times. Three. Three of them. Three of three full times. Several should be seven. But it is not so. It, it should be there. seven? You would think several, mm. seven. It does sound very similar, I will say. I will say. I did want to tell you, we're in Atlantic City. You're going to do any uh, gambling here? I'm going to do swimming. You're going to do swimming? It's Atlantis. No, Atlantic City. It's like a, it's like a Las Vegas Junior. You ever been oh. on? Yeah. Yes. We have uh, elephant years there. Yes. Um, you go there for the elephant years. No, that's that's uh, that's stay for the fireworks. That's Disney World. Oh, I think and they're my they're mouse ears. Mm. You, you ever been to Vegas? Uh, no. No. Oh, okay. Well, you have no idea what I'm talking about then. No, well, uh, um, well, uh, how about this? I will treat you to one gamble today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds very good. Is it, money? it involves money. Yes, so you good. could potentially win some. Oh, well, not right now. It'll be later. Uh, oh, I still owe you that ten uh, Canadian dollars. Oh, yes. Yeah, do I have that? You got the purple mask. Yes. I only have uh, your... Show your ID I'll... on there. Oh, yes, I should. Um, no, no, I'm not doing that, actually. Sure, no. It's no, it has my car. It has my tire stuff in there. Yeah, okay. they, that, my, ooh, my full address is on there. Um, well, yes, let's just stop yes. this here before right. it gets bad. Right, before it gets bad. Let's, let, let's go hang by the doors. All right. All right. Sounds good.
Stu Grayson here with a vlog section, a vlog inside a vlog. I'm in Atlantic City right now, and as you can see, I don't have my trademark smile on my face. Because as you know, Stu is always smiling. And right now, I'm not. I am not. Is it gym related? Nope. It's because I am in an hotel yet again that doesn't have a microwave. Not even one. One. It's $20. Get a microwave. I've got so much food. All the boys have so much food in their bags. And now we're gonna either eat it cold or throw it away. <sighs> it's time for a gym discovery with Stu. I'm Stu. I'm an angry Stu. And today I am not looking for a crappy gym. I need a good gym. I need a really good one because I need to push or pull some heavy ass weight to get me in a good mood. Because everybody likes it when I smile. Gym discovery time, let's go. So this might turns out to be a pretty good gym discovery. It is literally a full gym. Let's work out. deal with all the time. I am happy and smiling again. Look, I'm smiling. Why? Because I found a very good gym. It was technically a commercial gym, renting a spot in this building. So I have to rate this gym two different ways, as a commercial and hotel. And even though it had everything, that gym was really well equipped was a little small, it had a kickboxing room, and I was invited by a lady to do a 90 minute cardio kickboxing class. I didn't do it, but it was nice of her to ask me. Thank you, lady. So, as a commercial gym, I would rate it three stews. It had everything, and it was a little small. But as a hotel gym, whew, I have to give it five stew out of five because I would work out in this gym every day, every day. And that's why I'm a happy stew. Just look at how happy I am. So today ended up being a really good gym discovery. So now, Uno, do your vlog stuff and talk about stuff and blah, 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 bye. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. My vlog section is over, the gym discovery is done, but I wanted you guys to be updated on my situation. I found a microwave. Take that, hotel. All I had to do is walk around, find a place that sold cookies. I flirt with the girl at the counter, then I ask her to microwave my food, and then she gives me a cookie. And the cookie, is in the shape of a pizza slice. Woo! Stew, 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 stew.
Back home in Canada, from Atlantic City, you might hear a little bit of an echo. echo in here. Echo. Uh, we're in the middle of packing, so I have, this isn't even the day right when I came home. We've been packing steadily for three, four days to present this house so that we can sell it. We are moving very soon. Super soon. Super. Well, we hope. Well, hopefully. Uh, but back home uh, to Canada for a short little bit before I head back out uh, to Nashville next week. So next week's vlog will be from Nashville, Tennessee. I've been there before. Not me. No, you haven't. No. Nah. I've got good chicken over there and good barbecue. I like chicken. Mm -hmm. People Chicken's wear good. cowboy hats. I also like cowboy and not hats. Not sarcastically either. They wear it for real. So it's a good place. A good place. So be on the lookout for next week's vlog. That's where we'll be. If you want to send anything to me or Mrs. Udo, do so right here. Now is your chance. The address will likely change soon. So if you want to send it, send us a message as well. And uh, me and Mrs. Udo will uh, bid you adieu. And not off. Any parting words, Mrs. Uno? No. Wonderful parting words. Bye-bye.